Got one. Oh, that's a good one, dude. Yeah. Got one. What is that? Good fish. That's a big one. Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Engineering Hooksets. Welcome to another video. See, I'm here with Nada fishing. We're just wading this little river here. It's kind of really just like a big stream. It's not really too much of a river. But we've been walking up here. It's pretty cool. I mean, we've only been fishing for 10, 15 minutes, if that. And we've already caught, he's caught two smallmouth and then I just caught a drum that you'll see in a second. But yeah, we're hiking up this. We're gonna fish along the way. And then eventually we're gonna go up there and fish that low head dam. That should be where most of the video is. Stick around guys, it's gonna be a good time. And uh, yeah, do me a favor and subscribe to myself and Nada fishing. Oh wow, this is low. Dude, this is so weird. Last time the water was like up to here. This could actually be good though, because this could mean that they're like all kind of trapped up there at the dam. There we go. On the pole. Little smallmouth. Nice. First fish of the day, guys. Nothing big, but you on like what, fifth cast, something like that? Yeah, that was pretty quick. See you, bud. Nice. Got one. Oh, that's not a bad one. Hey, that's better. Definitely a better fish. There. Kind of came out of nowhere. I'll just do my straight retrieve. There we go. Yeah, that's better. It's an upgrade. Fish number two for me. It's a good sign though. We're not even up there yet. You've already caught two. Got one. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one, dude. Yeah. That's a good fish. Heck yeah, dude. Dude, that's a big one. Is that a drum? That's oh, a drum. Oh, it's a drum. It's a drum. It... Wow. Hey, that's not bad though for a fish. No. I mean, that's, yeah, that's a pretty good sized fish for this creek. That's a, but... that's a good drum. Man, I thought I had a big small mouth on. I did too, man. I saw that brown color. Yeah. I mean, you can't complain though. It's still a fun fish. They're honestly, they're kind of pretty. They like shimmer purple a little yeah, bit. Yeah, like that. Kind of like a brown color that's why we thought it was a smallmouth you're not bad maybe i saw this earlier because this is like the same size fish that i just saw swimming but oh yeah and put him back see you dude thanks nice. for biting all right hey we're catching fish all right this is supposed to be the money spot That's a big fish, dude. All right, Nate just caught a big drum on a crankbait. My second species of the day. Pretty cool though. On that flat side of crankbait. Three. There we go. Staring at the screen. I just released that drum, guys. First cast after that. I got a flat. Oh, well. Guys saw them. It's treble hooks though. They hook them so easy, but it's so hard to stay hooked. Yeah. One of us should have probably brought a net. You could probably go noodle them under that stone thing up there. You go shove your hands under that, you might catch one. All right, guys, I got a couple bites with the chatterbait, but haven't landed anything other than that first drum. It's been a while, so I'm gonna switch it up. All right, let's give this a shot. First snag of the day. Hey, I got another fish. It's a walleye. It's a nice walleye. Sog or something, whatever. Dude, he choked it. The crankbait, right at my feet. Come here, buddy. No! Come on, dude! No! Come on, dude! 
I've not had it. Dude, I'm like missing out on all the action. I gotta catch something. Yeah, guys, I just tied on a crankbait because Nate has already lost a nice walleye and two nice flatheads. But I mean, he's hooking fish on a crankbait, so I had to switch. Got one. No! Oh, it's still on. What is that? Oh, dang it. Well, hey, that's not, I guess it's a fish. I saw how long it was. I kind of thought it was a walleye for a second. How am I going to land this thing? I'm going to just sit down for it. This thing's going to freaking bite me. Dude, it's like a giant macaroni noodle. You like can't... Hey guys, look at that. This is funny, this is the first fish that we've actually landed. Nate's been hooking up with all the sport fish and losing them right at his feet, but. Don't even get me started, man. <laughs> Not a bad fish though. Nice to catch something. There he goes. Another drum? What have I lost so far? A ton of fish. <laughs> I've, I've lost. What? Gar, two flathead, walleye. It's unbelievable out here. He's landed two drum though. He's 100% on drum. 100% on drum. <laughs> Alright, I gotta try more over there. That's where all the fish are. Because there's like constantly fish busting over here. And... Oh shoot! Right there! What is That's that? That's a walleye. Yes! No, it's a good smallie. Holy crap! That's, That's a, a good big one. Woo! I'm gonna lose him. I'm gonna lose him. He's on little trouble Don't hooks. lose him, dude. I'm gonna. Come on, dude. That's a nice... Dude, they fight so that's a nice freaking fish, hard. Don't do what I did and let him get tangled on your shoe and get off. Yeah, that's a good fish, dude. Look at that. Yes, sir. That's a nice smolly. Caught him in this little guy. This is a KVD 1.0 in just like a standard gray shad color. Good job, bro. Someone's got to land the fish on here. <laughs> All right, guys, that's my best fish of the day. Probably, what do you think, 14 and a half inches? 14, maybe? Uh, maybe, a, yeah, probably like 15. Maybe like 1.3 pounds, 1.2. Good fish. Solid. Thanks, thanks for biting, hey, dude. That's actually the first smallmouth from this spot, isn't it? Actually, let me, before we like ruin this, you didn't bring your rod? There we go. I'm glad I did that. I just said I wanted to cast in here before we walked through it. Is it a rock bass? No, large it's mouth. large mouth. First largey of the day. These little ones are how you get hooked. See you, dude. Got one. Another little largey in this corner. That's like the same fish. All right, hopefully he just unhooks himself. Okay. That's good. Did not want to mess with that if I didn't have to. All right, guys, I'm going to walk up onto this little, whatever this thing is. I don't even know, is this a fish ladder? Like, what is this? I don't think it's a fish ladder. I have no idea what this thing is, but weird structure on the side of the dam. Got one. Good fish. Really good fish. I don't... Oh, dude, that was a good fish. That was a really good fish. Guys, I just lost a really nice fish right next to this wall. That was at least as big as that last smallmouth. Got one. Good fish. Good fish. Oh, it is. What is that? Should I try to flip it? I'm going to walk it over here. Yo, that's a good bit bigger than the last one. That's probably two inches longer. Look at that, guys. That's a nice smallie. That's a really thick smallie. Dude, that's an awesome fish. Look at that. All right, guys, that is a pretty dang nice smallmouth right there. This is probably two inches, one and a half maybe longer than the last one. Not quite as colorful. He's a little more green, less gold, but that's an awesome fish. Heck yeah, dude.
This is, uh, I'm pretty, if this is the only nice fish I catch today, I'm happy. This is a really nice smallmouth. All right, guys, we're going to put him back. Poor Nate can't, can't catch a sport fish for, to save his life. What am I doing out here? <laughs> See you, Smalley. There he goes. Dude, this spot's kind of crazy. I can't believe I haven't been coming here. This is only, oh, whoa. Good one? Oh my God. <laughs> this dude just got another drum. Oh, you're not even going to pull it up? I guess I have to. This guy's, he's the drum slayer right here. I don't even know what to say. I have no words for this fish right now. All I can say is, I'm pretty jealous that Matt is actually landing this sport fish. I don't know, it doesn't look very good up there. Oh, it snapped? Yeah. Got one. Decent fish. I just hooked a nice fish. Nate's pissed up there. It's probably gonna be a drum though, it's okay. Oh, it's another smallie. Oh my gosh. Dude, he's so mad up there. <laughs> he just broke off his crankbait and he like can't land a fish. That's a really nice smallie. Dude, they fight insanely hard. That's a good, wow. Guys, that's an insane smallie. Probably a two pounder. Just had that one treble. Look at that, guys. All right, guys, this is a really nice smallie. I think this is actually the longest one of the day. This is probably about 17 inches. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's pretty nice one, man. This is nice and golden. Really nice fish. Thanks for biting, dude. Appreciate it. There he goes. I feel so bad for this dude. <laughs> Don't. All right guys, so I'm gonna end. That's gonna be my last cast, that nice smallie. If you guys enjoyed the video, it's been really fun. We're out here waiting up to these dams. This spot's crazy. Like I've been here before. I've been here twice in March and I got skunked both times because the water was like 33 degrees. But first time I've come here in the summer and holy cow, it's worth it. The spot rocks. Yeah, do me a favor. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to Native Fishing as well as myself. See you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, let's get out of here before we get struck by lightning. My camera took a tumble while I was gone. I guess you won't be seeing that footage. Check this out, guys. I found this little micro spill on Google Maps. I went to go check it out. I'm throwing a 1 8 ounce square bill right now. These are made by my friend Kurt at Little Frishies if you want to go check them out. This one's in just like a little black red shad color, but yeah, it should definitely catch fish. Hopefully there's like smallmouth or something in there. It looks kind of deep. I think it's at least like two and a half feet deep or so. So there should definitely be a few fish down there. Let's try to catch one. All right, I'm gonna stay a little bit farther away just because I don't want to scare anything that's potentially down there. Got one first cast. What? <laughs> first cast. That's a, uh, it's either a creek chub or a full fish. Y'all are going to hate me. I post, <laughs> I post so many first cast videos lately. All right. Well, a little freshies lure did it on the first cast again. I got to like sneakily release him so I don't scare everything else off. All right. Hopefully y'all can see this. All right. He's been released. Okay. I'm going to back up. Oh, I can see a couple other fish swimming around in there. Hopefully there's more than just creek chubs. All right, let's try to catch something a little bit bigger than that. <gasps> oh, two casts in a row, what is that? Is that a little largey? Oh my gosh, look, it's the tiniest little largemouth. That was funny, my, my line was wrapped around the hook so it didn't even swim properly on that one. He hit it like a topwater. See ya, dude. Okay, we're two for two on the micro lure. See so if we can go three for three. I got another one. Oh, we came off. Oh, another one striked at it right at the edge. Okay, they're absolutely... Oh, it's tangled again. Something's still striking at it. Oh, I got another one. <laughs> All right, go on, buddy. Nope, wrong way. There he goes. Okay, he's going to go back over the spillway, possibly get eaten. There he goes. All right, can we do four for four? I don't think I've ever caught... There we go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he came off. Okay, something was on on that one and it came off. There's gotta be something a little, there we go. Another fish, another bass. This one's a tiny bit bigger than the last one. Another little largemouth, guys, look at that. That guy is like smaller than the creek chubs. See you, dude. Oh, he's going the wrong way. 
I gotta like herd this guy back so he doesn't get stuck up here. Okay, there he goes. He's going the right way now. All right. Man, there's gotta be something a little bit bigger in there. I should come back here at some point and try to catch bait. Got one. <laughs> Another large mouth. This one's got a cool pattern on him. Okay, see ya, dude. All right, he figured it out. An another one. Another one. What do we got? What do we got? This is, okay, that's probably the biggest creek chub yet. All right, go on, dude, get in the water. Okay, he's good. Guys, I, dude, I should have brought some sort of bait bucket and use these for like musky bait or something. This is crazy. I mean, what have I caught? Five or six fish already, every single cast. This is wild, y'all. There are so many fish in this little spillway. Got another one. Oh, he came off. Another one just hit it. Another one hit it. Got one. Oh, he came off. That's like three casts in a row now that I've lost one. Just pulled out another little largemouth. Look at that. Oh, this one. Okay, this one fell off. We're going to guide him back in. Oh, get back in, buddy. You're so close. All right, he figured it out. That one feels a tiny bit better. Yes, okay. Okay, that's not a giant bass by any means, but I think that's the biggest largemouth of the day. This one's gonna grow up to be a trophy someday. He's very fat for his length. No, don't go upstream. All right. All right, he figured it out. There is such a wild amount of fish in this little spillway. Got one? Another largemouth. They all look really healthy too. All right, let's try to cast a little bit further down. Something just hit it. Didn't feel big. Some, I've got like three or four hits now. Oh, does that count? Does that count as a catch? Probably not. I think that was another creek chub. Got one. There's another creek chub. Oh no. Okay, he's good. He's going back in the river, the creek. There he goes. Guys, there has not been a single cast where I didn't get bit. Okay, that was weird. That was my first cast without a bite. Cast that a little further. There's one. What's this? What's this? All right, that is for sure. That is for sure the biggest fish of the day, which is still very small. But for a creek chub, that ain't bad, all right? I should have brought like some sort of cloth with me. Oh my gosh. I almost ate right there. You can see the streak that my shoe made. Got one. What's this? Another big creek chub, not quite as good as the last one. Let's drop him back. All right guys, I gotta head out of here, but I'm gonna do a couple more casts. I'm gonna catch one more fish before I leave. Maybe this could be the smallmouth. Another, another creek chub. Why is it that almost all of the creek chubs here have been bigger than almost, geez. Okay, quick release on that guy. Why is it that almost all the creek chubs have been bigger than almost all the largemouth? Got another one. What is this, what is this? Another creek chub. Dude, if you had a little, if you had a five gallon bucket and were collecting bait, Oh, sorry, dude. If you had a five gallon bucket and like you were collecting bait, you could probably catch a hundred of these. Got one on. Is that a bass? It looks green. That is, is this the biggest bass of the day? It's quite the achievement. Is that the biggest creek bass of the day? Who knows? He's having trouble. All right, he figured it out. Got one. All right, largemouth bass. All right, we're gonna end on this, guys. Let's walk right up to the spillway because we're not worried about scaring anything. Oh, wow, there's a ton of fish down there, y'all. 
So I think it's about two feet, two and a half feet deep at the max. I know you guys can't see anything because of all these bubbles on top of the water, but the water is very, like, surprisingly clear down there. All right, see you, dude. Yeah, guys, this water is crazy clear, and I can see a huge school of, it's got to be the creek chubs it was biting, just chilling right there. I'm surprised there aren't bigger fish. Maybe there are bigger fish. Maybe I just needed to use a bigger lure. That could totally be it. All right, guys, I'm done fishing this little spillway. Once again, shout out to my man, Kurt. Thank you for the crankbait. Appreciate you, dude. If you guys want to check these out, it'll be linked in the description. Check them out on Instagram at Little Frishies. They'll make whatever custom crankbaits you want. Just send them a DM. Yeah, I'm done here. It was a good time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.